Well, hello everyone. Dan Hurd, Dan Hurd Prospecting here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I uh, hope to earn your subscription today. I am here in a private gallery in Tucson, Arizona at the big rock and gem event they hold down here. I was invited to the basement of the Granada Gallery where they have a big exhibition of world-class minerals. Today, it's all about copper, but not just copper, all the minerals that copper creates. And they are phenomenal. So wish me luck and I hope you enjoy. Now, copper is a fascinating mineral. It can form so many other stones. How many minerals have a copper base to them? And typically we think of copper as a staining things blue and green, which yes, the best blue and green stones are made of copper for sure. But we have every color under the rainbow in here and some of the most amazing specimens. These are world-class specimens of minerals made of copper here at the Granada Gallery. And I just, I'm blown away. They told me some values of some of the things here in the room, which I'm not sure, I'm not gonna share, but let's just say, I can't say, I can't say it so impressive. This stuff on display here is mind blowing. I got to go out rock hunting just yesterday onto a copper mine where they have lots of azurite, malachite, all these vanadinites, all sorts of minerals and wow what i found really impressed me things that i could find myself but that's nothing compared to what's in this room here yes i was finding azurite crystals they were microscopic not three and four inches long and gem quality clear like we see here and you'll have to stick around to the end for the close-ups of that and yeah at the copper mine we were getting malachite but look at the malachite they have on display. The malachite sequero cactus. <laughs> and my favorite pieces were definitely the azurite and malachite mixtures. We weren't finding anything like that though, or that. And unfortunately, the mine I was at had no native copper at it. That is something I want to do someday. Though I think I've got a connection with a Michigan miner who's going to take me out and find some native copper. Absolutely love copper. Now, unfortunately, where we were rock collecting, there weren't Dioptase crystals, which another site close by had them. But Dioptase is another amazing copper mineral with beautiful green crystals. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that's a Dioptase pseudomorph, meaning it's Dioptase growing on top of another crystal, probably calcite. Now, in this copper display, I see a fair number of Vivianite crystals, which I don't believe are actually copper-based. I think they're iron-based, but hey, they're here. Let me show you.
And after asking, they said this is primarily a copper display, but there is some iron minerals as well. Like the Vivianite, like some of the meteorites, but mostly copper here. What else do I have to show you? Ooh, how about copper sulfides? The typical crystals you think of when you think of copper. The pyrites or the fool's gold. And this here is an ammonite shell that has been piratized. It has had pyrite grow inside it and replace the shell. And if I'm not mistaken, this one here is not a copper pyrite. This is an arsenopyrite, arsenic. That's still cool. And this here is arsenopyrite and calcopyrite together. It might be a, oh, of course it says right there, Spellerite too. And then there are all the minerals that I don't even have a clue what they are, but they're amazing. And unfortunately, the tags in the display here are in German and I can't read them. But let me show you all the things that blow my mind and I have no idea what they are. I think that says hematite. And that's definitely a pseudomorph, something that grew on a big calcite crystal. Then the calcite went away. I think that's a form of malachite. Malachite crystals, maybe? And that's gotta be a meteorite. So does that. Yes, they say they're meteorites. This looks like specular hematite. An iron cross. No clue. No clue, no clue. No clue. What does it say? It's that. That looks to be translucent red. I think those are azurite crystals growing on top of malachite but that's just a guess. And yes, this is natural. That is not glitter glued onto the surface of something. That is natural. Again, that's hematite. That's iron, not copper. Those are garnets. Again, it's an iron-based mineral, not a copper-based mineral. And no freaking clue. If you can translate that, tell me what it is. And I'm not positive, but I think that's just velvet azurite growing on malachite. And to end off the show and tell at the Granada Gallery in their copper and iron display, I'm going to show you my favorites. And my favorites are definitely clear. My favorite mineral here is definitely the Jemmy Jemmy Crystal Azurites. So let's get them all together. So by far my favorites are the dark, dark blue crystal azurites. The blue in that one, wow. And unfortunately in the white cabinets, it's really hard to get the camera to show you what these things really look like. But that is such a deep blue, it almost looks black. Before I end off the video with my favorite mineral here, I have to show this one off one more time because it is definitely my second favorite. 
wow. And we'll end off the video with the close-ups of that. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave that thumbs up. If I haven't earned your subscription yet, I hope I earned it today. And a big thanks to everyone for watching. And until the next one.